what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment in today's episode i'm going to be posting reactions and comments of people who actually commented on my channel i made a video yesterday on uh pa adebanjo a lot of you know him he's one of the afenifere uh, chieftains you know this man made um he made a comment you understand me on actually dividing the country in fact he pointed it out to buari that buari should divide the country with immediate effect to the three you understand me zones the country where before independence so uh, there have been a lot of reactions and i'm going to read the reaction so this man is one of the prominent the man you see here is one of the prominent afenifere chieftains and you guys know that afenifere is uh, the mouthpiece of the Yoruba nation, okay? So this man said that the country should be divided, that is lawlessness that have been exhibited by uh, the executive, that is the president, you understand me? That this is a dictatorial government, and he said a lot, I want you to re uh, listen to that video, I'm going to put the link to that video in the description, so you're going to see the video, watch that video, get a lot, and um, the man said a lot, and he is trying to actually tow the line of Nam the Kanu now. Okay, so if the you know this person made a statement, Dan Juma said, said he said he said Nigeria is in a hole, and because Nigeria is the hole, that people from the southwest are not speaking up. They are not speaking at all. That it appears everybody have been uh, 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 been threatened. You understand me? Have been threatened into silence. So, but this man came out today and came out and he hit Buari very hard and said the country should be divided, that we are not one. That's what he said. So in reaction to this, people have been reacting. Um, people reacted that yesterday. I have 62 comments. I'm going to start reading some of them so that you know what is actually uh, happening. You get uh, this guy here, Chiago Z. A Bubechuku said something. He said, Yoruba should know that this is a golden opportunity for them to go with Biafrans and gain their freedom once and for all. Nothing like restructuring. Another person here said, um, Oyeni ran, I can be said for the first time the Yoruba group is rising up. That's good. This is a Yoruba guy. And another person here said, Samuel, Samuel said, you cannot trust Yoruba. Another person here says, uh, Okpani Sylvester said, they said earlier that Igbos are brainwashed by MNK, that is Nam De Kanu. Now they can see the light of the rising sun shining on our leader, not political leader, enslaving their own people. God bless Onye Isi. Another person here said, Joseph Sonike said, The World Bank will be so stupid to loan Nigeria any money. Uh, then another person here said, Eze Madubuchi said, Division is better and best if Odudu was still waiting, believing in one zoological republic of Nigeria because of 10% of oil. That is stupidity. In 100 years to come, Fulani Hausa will never change with their mentality. Or we are born to rule, or we are born to rule Islamization agenda. Tinubu should reason well for his people, not for his own selfish interests. Another guy here says, be you Yoruba or Igbo, we don't care. All we need is for everyone to be free from Fulanis and a zoo called Nigeria. Long live Biafra. Another person here says, you are a stupid man by saying that Awolowo betrayed Igbos when we were born. When were you born to enable you to know that Awolowo betrayed Igbo? To which I, I think that was a response I gave to him. He actually abused me and said, um... He said that why did I say that I will always betray the evils? That when was I born to know? So to which I responded to him, and this is my response. I said, Your parents were supposed to tell you this. I will always was detained by the Nigerian government of Gowon, but was released by Ojuku with an agreement for them both to declare Biafra and Odudowa Republic, respectively. But I will always, on being released, disclosed the secret to Gowon and never joined Ojuku in declaring Odudowa nation. That was how Awolowo betrayed Ojuku and by and by extension Biafra. Hope that got some sense into you. You can confirm this by searching the phrase Awolowo betrayed Ojuku. Thanks. So that was actually my re my response to what these guys said. I don't know. You guys can comment on that. Did I did I reply him very well? Please, you can let me know. Then another guy here said Nancy Okoye said Nigeria is a taboo. 
to we Biafrans. We don't have anything to do with the name Nigeria. Fulani and Yoruba can restructure, but we Biafra want outright independence. This evil Nigeria has brought calamity to the lives and property of the Biafrans. Sorry, we are not Nigerians. Another guy here said, uh, Emma Bule House of Entertainment said, Okay, you can see what Igbos are saying about Tinobu that he, he's a traitor to you, Yoruba. So you Yoruba should not be saying the Igbos are blasting the Yoruba. Where are the where are the rest group in South South? Please, if we really want freedom, this is not the time to blame each other because if we did not cooperate, both Eastern Region, Mid Eastern Region, Western Region, and let me read more and middle belt region to force all the so-called our leaders to regional restructuring so we will be able to have a better nigeria every part of nigeria knows we are not one you understand me but so um okay let me skip this one another guy here says you do a lot better if you stick to precision uh that's he's advising me uh that's chris alisa uh that's it i'll look into that Another person here still him. He says, "Why do you dwell on repetition?" Oh, okay. So that is it. I will review what I've said, and actually, uh, uh, look at that. I will look into that. Another person here says, "Adi Allah, Adi says, let's break up. We are not one Odudua. We are not one Odudua Republic. I support this is a Yoruba guy actually lending, you know, support to the Odudua, uh, you know, uh, Republic." Another guy here said, This guy in Abuja is taking loans for the North, and they, the full and is occupying everything, will pay. Another person here said, This guy just realized that after allowing full and is to bleed and torture Nigeria. Another guy here said, Loan cannot stop Biafra, is to pay. But Biafra can easily contribute $1 and pay freedom. And it's important, bro. That is a Chris claim. That's what Chris Clem said. Then Kings, Emani says, please, someone answer my question. If Nigeria is divided today, how can the Department of Nigeria, how can the Department of Nigeria be paid? Of which there were, I think there are four replies here. Let me, let's check out the replies. Another person is, in the reply, somebody says, Oba Senjot, Tinubu, and Co. will pay the debt. Cynthia Uwosu, Uwosu said, it will be paid by the person that borrowed it. By Nigerian president, he is still going to borrow Felatalcam animal in human skin. Felatalcam animal in human skin. Uh, a Mabuli House of Entertainment said, My suggestion, neither the international community stroke it off or it will be divided within republics. Then um, uh, Samuel Njoku said, King Emani, do you prefer enslavement, torture, killing, domination, Islamization to death? Tell our senators and house member to reject the loan now. Okay, so that this was in replies to what um, uh, this guy said. King Zemani asked a question. Please, someone answer my question. If Nigeria is divided today, how can the Department of Nigeria be paid? I think what he's trying to say is that if the various, you know, section, you understand me, republics in Nigeria, you know, oh, how would they pay this money? That's what he's asking, to which they are, these are the replies. Then uh, King Emani says, what an evil man will see sitting down. Other tribes cannot see it, even, even when they climb a local tree. Tested, trusted, and confirmed. And then he also went that uh, King Emani also said again, what is Osibanjo's so-called man of honesty doing there? I see Osibanjo is for them. And then... um. Amechi Azuke said the Yorubas are not serious. So I'm going to view more. Let me click on uh, view more. And then Osiko Jav said they should go meet Buari and his cabal who borrowed the money from them because they didn't invest the money in country. They knew that these people are criminals and they are scammers, which they know that is that is their own business biafra is not involved in such deal these cabals are looters they know it let them stop playing games with those animals with those criminals and then um lisa sanders says return the loan because it's a strategy to stop biafra and buy them in ara guy says um lady lady v david said that's why you are the younger guy. That's why you, the younger guy, should go out and take your future back from them. 
That's a good one. Then Texas Hostel says, Is this the real Buari? Fulanis are digging their graves. Another comment from Chuku Chima said, Tinubu is a traitor to the Yoruba race. Then um, another comment here from Olorutimi Adepita he said, This country constitution is the best for the Fulani because they know how to use it. At first, Fulani rejected the constitution during the time of Agui Ronsi. They rioted against it, but once they tested and discovered how powerful it is, they use it to consolidate power and are ready to die. Let me read more. And are ready to die to protect it. If they agree to restructure, the Fulanis will suffer because they are not ingenious by nature. The only other option to break up Nigeria is war. All right, so that is it. Now, another comment here says, Victor Injeke says, Yorubas can never get serious or trusted. Another comment here says, the debt won't stop Nigeria from dividing. Contrary to your narrative, countries do break up despite debt. Oh, do your research. Okay, that's a nice one. And then another person here, A.Y. Weed said, it's better now, divide the country. Good for everyone because I'm a Christian. Then he got two replies. Let's see the two replies. In the two replies, at last, our fathers are ready to, are ready, are ready up. Showore, no going back. Then, Emabule, House of Entertainment. This is from Adenika. This is Adenike Olubumi. That's what he said. And then, uh, the next response is yes, Emabule, House of Entertainment, say you should stop religion, religious issue. Think resolution to our problem. Then, another guy here said, Tunde, as when he said, um, this is not the response to that question. Uh, comment is not a register, a different comment entirely it says please tell that man to go and sit down even a whole world yoruba leader didn't want nigeria to divide who are you looking for the post worry is trying now now people should support him that is what we need now in nigeria so this guy here actually got 10 replies i'm going to read the reply what he's trying to say he's trying to say that all the whenever you know campaign for division of nigeria so who is this guy who is pa adebanjo to actually say nigeria should be divided i'm going to let's read the comments let's read the replies people actually reply to him um linus kenneth said you are a fool to say to say you are a fool to say that you fool any man then another person here says fidelia Igbo is a meaning and the other person Ada Jubi said People like you are still very blind to see. Wake up. And then Prince Chinedu says, you are a big fool. Noise Martin, Noise Martin says, incompetent human being by animals. Stink. Sink. Another person, Adiola Adekunle says, you will surely die under the spell of poverty and agony that Brother Buari brought to the country at Tunde. You know, these are response to what that guy says. So, Jackson Hilton says, I am sure you are a Fulani man in disguise of a Yoruba person. It seems you eat from the stolen money and you will die in shame. Victor Osagi says, Omo Ube, Omo Ube Mugu, you such a clueless man, you silly brat. What have you gained from Boris government, you stupid rat? I'm sure one of the Fulanis or APC party waste man biafra must go that is it our person in my house of entertainment said again you people should read my comment go through it stop abusing each other this is the time we need to come together and solve our problems our person said leave us alone let's let my people go all right so those are the 10 comments of what this guy actually uh said so people have actually commented and dropped um I've spoken a lot about this. Uh, would time see permit me to read on? Let me still read on. Eric Anna says, Zoological Republic is finished. Another guy here says, um, Eukarya Arthur said, Biafra is already reality anyway. Southeast as a whole, gone home already. Bye-bye, Nigeria. To which he got three comments. Let me read the comments. Uh, the comment here is from... Olale Khan Rufai says, stop running your mouth about the Yorubas. Check your people regarding trust and stop your wrong labeling of Yorubas. And then uh, Emabuli, House of Entertainment, replies, Olale Khan Rufai, why are you creating problems? We are trying to come together to see how we can solve 
this problem, this freedom problem from this so-called Nigeria. Please try to understand statement before you reply because to my understanding of this statement, he is not taking he is not talking to Yoruba like me. I am an Edo man, whether we like it or let me read uh, the, or not. All of us are in the same shoe. Thank you. And then um, Martins Chikeze C says, "Are you responding to Olaleka Rufra? You are the highest Yoruba fool. Did he call the southwest of Yoruba? Why are you attacking him?" Why there's so much hate when you hear anything about Biafra? Have the evil raped your girls? Took over your land? Destroyed your farmland? Took over your kingship or killed your youth? Evils love... Let me read more here. Evil love money. That's the only thing you all say. Is that enough reason for so-called hate? So much hate? You hate evils. You, your hate for evil will doom you all haters of Biafra. All right, so that is it. So that was the response. And then another comment here from Felix Ben said the, area, the areas of the loan will be shared among the three separate units. Okay, then another person here says, Why Vone Bushlinga said, Don't worry about the credit. Did you collect the fucking credit? Eh, the world powers will sell Oduduwa and the rest of idiot cables and Boko Haram. So, what is your problem? Leave that to the world powers. Biafra and Oduduwa did not took the fucking credit. So shut down your mouth. Alright, so another person here say, you know, all of these people talking about credit and the loan is um they, there was a comment I made about uh, I raised a question that um what about the loan the federal government wants to collect at the 29.6 billion US dollars? This loan is going to have a repayment term, you understand me, of up to 20 years or even more. You get that if they collect this loan now, um, do you think that if they collect this loan from either Paris Club or maybe World Bank and all of that, won't it have a disastrous effect for, you know, Biafra when this country wants to be divided? Because the World Bank being an arm of United Nations may not want to, United Nations by proxy may not want to endorse any referendum that will, you know, make the country divided because of the loan because nigeria have to pay the loan and all of that so that's why you see a lot of people actually uh, commenting that the loan issue wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem that some countries have been divided you get me even for this part the fact that they had this loan issue already they've been divided and then some people commented and said that this loan will be shared among the federating unit or the unit or the republic it will be shared to which some people also commented and said that it is not possible for that uh, Biafra didn't collect the loan southeast not the southwest did not collect the loan that Buari was only collecting that loan to save the interest of the Fulanese that they will pay back so that is it that's why you see a lot of people say hammering on that loan because I raised that topic you get so what do you guys think about uh, this I want to drop your comment below let me know what you think this is Malcolm TV God bless you all